just one thing I noticed with uh, a lot of people deadlifting, and uh, you said how, how you deadlift, and uh, it really tells a lot about the person. I, I noticed that uh, you know everybody's head is always up. Mm -hmm. Everybody's head is always up. They always wanna they always wanna see. They wanna feel like I know exactly where I am. I know what I'm doing. Like the deadlift, I'm like okay, I can see in front of me. But just you know, you don't have to get that stimulus 24/7. You don't have to always see where you're going. Like you're just deadlifting, like your feet are still on the ground, and then you're just you're so funny. Down. I'm like, gonna give. A, I'm gonna be a little poetic here. Well, remember when I talked? I talked about how there's this, the restriction of the musculature around this portion of the neck, suboccipitals, the uh, extensors, and the jaw muscles. You know, the, our, our jaw muscles, like the um, sternocleidomastoid, which attaches to the to the mastoid, and all the jaw muscles up in here, they all act as a Physical form, physical expression of psychological castration from the body. The body represents the part of us that thinks oh, without us having to think of what it beats your heart for. Like, who beats your heart for you? Who digests your food for you? That part of our body is also, you know, we call that the peripheral nervous system, vegetative nervous system. It's that which does stuff without you having to do it. Um, and when you're describing not having, being able to see, it's almost like you've got to have courage enough to trust your body without having to be in control of it. Because this is, this is a position of control. This is a position, and it's fearful control. Because you've got to be a little courageous to just go with what, trusting your body and letting your body do this. You've got to build courage to do this. All right. So I think that you know there, but I just thought that say. No, that's, uh, that's basically what I wanted to say, just, uh, I mean, that, that could either be like a way to diagnose like what that person might be thinking about, like what what's really going on in their head, what are the choices they're making in their life that have, that's maybe the kind of personality, like, oh, I'm always, I need to be in control at all times, I need to see everything, and, like, it's always going to be the same anyway, even if you look up or down, or, you just, but, but you forget about your heart, you forget about you know, being grounded and all that stuff because you just want to, you want to satisfy this one up here and forget about the rest. I think you're even rest. stronger. Well, I mean, biomechanically you're stronger. But I think you're even stronger when you can trust your body because there, there's an imbalance of strength when it's all sympathetic, when it's all male, when it's all aggressive, mm -hmm. as opposed to parasympathetic, female, tender. That's what the whole yin yang. Did I say yin yang? Yeah, that whole synergized mm -hmm. symbol is all about that balance. It's the whole, this whole thing. Our world has become so head oriented, male oriented, penis oriented, aggression oriented, war oriented, that there's we're kind of we're, we're in pain. Our dysfunction is due to that imbalance. So it's trusting. It's yielding. It's softening. It's being tender enough to, that allows deep grounded strength.